Wait, you're just gonna sleep right there? What? <laughs> what kind of date is this? Hey guys, and welcome back to Story of Seasons. In this episode, we actually have something that we need to buy. It just appeared in the general store. I got a letter about it this morning. And that is the blue feather, which is 150,000, which is kind of a lot considering what it is. But you need this to be able to propose. And I'm still going for the reverse proposal, so I'll need to keep it in my bag. But I figured I would just buy it now and get it out of the way so that I have it. Um, to get the reverse proposal, I need to give Naughty, I believe, uh, four, like it's 50 more gifts, but I think I gave him some already because I've just been using fish feed because it's something he likes and it's something really easy that I can keep track of. So yeah, 48. So I need 48 more uh, fish feed that I have to give him. And you also need to have given them 30 of their favorite gift, in which in his case is grass drink, and I already did that, so I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do, and then I can get the reverse proposal, so that is pretty exciting. We are also going to be trying for the yellow heart event today, so I will be right back. Okay, so I'm outside Nadi's room at the inn. In order to get the yellow flower event, it has to be between 19.30 to 21.30 um, hours or time, which as you can see it is. It can be a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, which today's Tuesday, so that works. It has to be sunny weather. Naughty has to have a yellow flower color, or higher, obviously. He does. He's at a red heart. And you have to be dating him, so that means that you have to have given him the ring, or he has to have given you the ring. You have to be dating for this to work, so hopefully it will. All right. Looks like we got it. And it is called a break from a date. Oh, so sleepy. Hey. Oh, babe. What are you doing here? Have you come to visit me? I have. What, you want to take me on a date? Yeah, that sounds great, but I've got an appointment in an hour. That's okay. What kind of appointment at this hour? As long as you don't mind it being a very short date, I'm okay with hanging out for a little. Oh, I don't mind. Not at all. So I guess we're just gonna sit here and drink large cups of coffee. Sorry, babe, I'm so exhausted my head is spinning right now. That's alright. It's been really busy lately. Haven't had much time to rest. Mind if I take a nap real quick? No, go ahead. Thanks. I appreciate it. Wake me up in 30 minutes, okay? Alright. Wait, you're just gonna sleep right there? What? <laughs> what kind of date is this? Imagine just sitting in a restaurant and your partner being like, Alright, I'm really tired. Can, can, you, can, can I just take a nap? And then they sleep right there. Uh, okay, so it's been 30 minutes, so you can either wake him up or not wake him up, and you would think that you shouldn't wake him up, but you really should, because if you don't, if you wait for him to wake up, you lose friendship points with him, so you need to actually wake him up. He was really tired, too. <laughs> Naughty, you can't sleep. Hey, you can't sleep here. Has it been 30 minutes already? Yes, get up. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm feeling a little better now. Sorry about that. You must have been pretty bored just waiting around for me to wake up. Mm, no, I was just chilling. Drinking my hot cocoa. Huh? You watched me while I slept? Don't do that. There's nothing interesting about watching me sleep. That's creepy. He's blushing, though. Also, what was I supposed to do? You just went to sleep right here. I couldn't leave you here. You could have been kidnapped or something. Jeez, you're weird. But, oh well. I've got a little time, so how about we go get ourselves a snack? My treat, since you did me the favor of waking me up. We can talk some more while we eat. Alright. Don't be shy. I'm glad you're worried for me and all, but I do feel better after having that nap. No reason to go back home. Besides, like I said, I've got a little time until my appointment. 
Come on, quit being so dense. I'm trying to say I don't want you to leave yet. If I really didn't have the time and wasn't feeling up to it, I would have just come right out and said it. I'd have gone home and slept for real, instead of taking a little 30-minute power nap. But I didn't, because I want to spend time with you. I know. You're so awkward, Naughty. Got it? Good. Now hurry up and make your order. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to love. I don't know how to respond. Okay, so I don't think I ever actually showed you guys the water paddy field. Uh, it was the last one that I won from Elise. I have lotus root growing here, some wasabi, and some rice. And it's pretty easy. You just kind of uh, till the land and then just put them in there. You don't really have to do anything except for fertilize them if you want to. But otherwise, uh, pretty low maintenance. However, it does take a long time for all of uh, those things to grow there. I think... I don't know off the top of my head, but I think it's like 30 days or something. It's a long time. So that's why you get the field for so long. But I haven't actually grown anything there yet because I just got the field not too long ago. But you also get an achievement if you own all of the fields. So that is also something to think about if you are interested in achievements. All right, so today is the fishing tournament. Uh, it's the fifth of summer, so I don't... No, like, this one seems so random. It's, like, it doesn't seem... I, I never can tell, like, who's gonna win, you know what I mean? Because it's just, like, seems really random and also unfair. But we're gonna, we're gonna try it anyway. Oh, and Naughty's here. Was he in the last fishing tournament? Maybe he was, I can't remember. I remember the first one I totally, like, missed because it's early in the morning, whereas the other festivals are later in the day or like kind of mid-afternoon but this one you have to be here really early in the morning which is kind of annoying but i made sure to get here on time so let's get fishing all right try over here what get out of here offense get out of here I guess we could try this spot. I think this is where I was fishing last time. Naughty! Ugh, can't we share the pier? Romantic fishing or something? Fine, I'll try to go over here. If somebody is here, I'm gonna be really annoyed because this is my property. So. They shouldn't be here. Aha! No one's here. Alright. So, I'm gonna fish. Of course, I lost an entire minute because I had to get to my pier. I think that's stupid because they start, like, right on the pier and then you have to, like, run around and waste time. It's stupid. This contest is rigged! I gotta remember how to fish. I'm so used to fishing in Stardew Valley and this is very different fishing. <laughs> I gotta remember how to do it. I don't think I'm gonna win though. This contest is kind of hard. <laughs> oh man. Hmm, that's a pretty big fish, 48 centimeters. I think that's a large fish. I'm not really sure what constitutes a large. It looked large to me. Also, I don't think I ever caught a needlefish before. Hmm. All right, well, I think we should skip ahead. I don't think you guys want to watch me fish for two more minutes. All right, let's see the results. Yeah, I definitely didn't win most fish caught. I only caught seven fish. And if I remember last time, the winner won like a ridiculous amount of fish. 21 fish, are you serious? How is that even possible? 
I call shenanigans. Freaking liar. Oh, biggest fish caught. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's me! Yay! Finally won the freaking fishing tournament. I caught a, uh, I think it was a carp. That was 58 centimeters. So, I didn't think I would win, though, because a lot of times, like, they just have ridiculous, uh, they just have ridiculous fish or amount of fish caught. Cooking recipe set two. Huh. I wonder what's in that. I don't think grass drink is in that. I think that's only in the traveling, like, I think only the traveling sales people sell that one, which is unfortunate because it's not his favorite. But what can you do? I guess I'll just talk to everyone and get those friendship points. But uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. In the next one, we're going to be trying to get uh, Nadi's pink flower event, most likely. And I'm going to be working off screen to try to get uh, his gifts up, you know, so we can get closer to the proposal. I'm also still working on Ice Country, like I've said for the past couple videos, it's just like, I have one requirement left, and I need a lot of small lumber, and I just don't have it. So like, I'm growing trees, which takes a while, and I'm buying lumber every day, but even still, it takes a lot, <laughs> and I don't have it, so. It's gonna take me a little while to unlock Ice Country, but soon. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, because that way I know that you liked it and you want to see more. So thank you, and I will see you in my next video.